Morning everyone, welcome to my collective worship. I hope you are having a fabulous week. I've got some images and photographs to share with you this morning to start our worship. So just take a few moments now to look carefully at these on your screen. OK, so you may want to stop the video now and just have a chat with the people that you are with about what you think those images are all about and what you think our worship is about today. I wonder what ideas you all came up with. So every image was showing someone who needed a little bit of help. Help tying a shoelace or help collecting some shopping help being protected from the rain or giving somebody a helping hand when they'd fallen over. And what about the people who were actually doing the helping? Well, they were showing an act of kindness. I wonder what we mean by the term kindness. Pause the video and have a chat about that word with your the friends that you're listening to worship with today. So kindness is about showing concern for others and being considerate. Being thoughtful and friendly makes you feel really good inside. And when we're kind and considerate to others, it makes the person that we're being kind to also feel happier about themselves. Scientists have found out that if we are kind to one another, it releases a chemical in our bodies to make us feel less anxious and happier. And kindness spreads. Have a look at this image here that I'm showing you. This diagram explains that idea that if we are kind to someone, it's more likely that they'll go on to be kind to others. Imagine if you're kind to three people. And each of those three people go on to be kind to a further three people. It will affect lots and lots of people in our community and make them feel happier too. Now, kindness doesn't have to cost anything. It doesn't have to be about giving somebody a gift or giving them some money. It can be something as simple as saying please and thank you and showing respect and good manners. Remembering that if you've done something wrong and we all make mistakes, that we acknowledge that by saying sorry and asking if someone is feeling OK. So next week is half term, so that gives you plenty of opportunities to demonstrate kindness with the people that you live with, either by helping out around the house or being kind and considerate. But next week is also World Kindness Week. So to mark that very special week, we would like to set you a Meal Brace Primary School challenge. OK, we would like you to come up with some kind of way of rewarding kindness in our school. So as part of our worships we usually on a Friday give out certificates of, for people who have shown um, and demonstrated our school values of perseverance, community and respect. But every so often we would also like to give out an award for an act of kindness. So your challenge over half term is to come up with and create and design a kindness award okay so how do i create a kindness award you might be asking well i've got some ideas on the screen for you now so you might come up with the idea of a kindness medal you can see some examples there so using some scrap pieces of card and some foil or some glitter or your pens and crayons you could create a medal there 
as well. You could attach some ribbon to it as well. There's also a rosette or a badge, so you could create a kindness badge using paper or ribbon. Or you could even design, design a kindness trophy. I think the trophies here have been made out of paper cups, but you could use um, cardboard kitchen roll tubes or anything that you've got around the house. So those are some 3D ideas. But you might also want to create or instead of create a certificate or a poster to explain and demonstrate kindness. So if you were going to design a certificate, remember you would need to say would need to say kindness award on it. There would need to be space for you to write the person's name on of the person who's who's getting the award and there might be a space there for Mr Bray to sign his name to say that that person has been awarded with the certificate. If you create a kindness poster you might want to explain what we mean by kindness and give some examples of ways that people can be kind. So this is your chance to get really creative over half term and to come up with some ideas of an award to show kindness and when you've created your idea you could take a photograph of it um, for your teacher and then we we will have a look at them as a school you'll get a letter in the next couple of days explaining about the kindness award and explaining how it will work but i just wanted to give you um, some ideas during our worship today We're going to end our worship today in a slightly different way. I want to share a, a short video with you, just emphasising that idea of kindness. But before we go, let's just reflect for a moment on what we've learned about kindness. Remember that kindness is about showing care and consideration for others. And it doesn't matter how big or small the act of kindness is, it can really impact the person who's receiving that and also it can make you feel good inside too. So I'll leave you with that thought and the video and I will see you next time.